Franklin Roosevelt's 1933 inaugural speech is most remembered by the oft-quoted, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear, it seems, is the currency of today's publicly available information. Well, what do we have to fear? COVID, inflation, Trump, Putin, gun violence, January 6th, border crossings, North Korea, snowstorms, smashing grabs, Xi Jinping, carjackings, and a few other things that bombard us moment by moment, endlessly, day after day. The old newspaper adage used to be, if it bleeds, it leads. Well, it's because their publishers knew that bad news, the details of which were hidden in the story down on the page, sold newspapers. Today, every story is breaking news or calls for the status of alert. We're supposed to be afraid of vaccines or COVID. Putin or Trump, Democrats or Republicans, add it all up. And I think the media, both public and virtual, wants us to be scared to death. Well, why? We're addicted to it. It's totally in our comfort zone. When I grew up, we regularly practiced atomic bomb drills in my school. Under the desk, away from the windows, heads covered up. But I never remember attributing fear to them. It was just something we did, like going outdoors to recess. Sure, there were things to respect that could hurt you if you didn't pay attention. But I don't ever remember going to bed afraid of something. Today, I don't know how anybody actually ever gets to sleep. Well, yeah, I guess I do. While the constant barrage of scary stuff is our addiction, we devour newspapers, Fox News or CNN or MSNBC on TV, endless blogs and pundits reminding us to stay scared. I think most of us have developed a certain skepticism about whether the sky is actually going to fall or not. The scary chatter goes on ad nauseum in the background of our lives, and somehow we've grown the ability to let it roll off our backs. It's as if we've relegated all this noise to the level of entertainment. And like most entertainment, we can take it or leave it. We hear it, but we don't really listen. To test the theory, ask yourself when any of the aforementioned topics was the subject of a social conversation you had with friends over dinner or a drink. I find my answer to be almost never. We have better things to discuss. I'm comfortably habitually ignoring all the gloom and doom. Yes, bad things happen. Statistically, people get sick, stores get robbed, people get shot, people do get COVID. And I categorically refuse to be afraid of any of these things. I will deal with them when and if they happen to me. To actually concern myself continuously with all this is the scariest situation I can conjure up. So yes, Mr. Roosevelt, I will admit to being afraid of being afraid. It's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.